Hello everyone and welcome back to the Daisy Regrowth Project. Thank you to everyone that's been sending me their trees and their seedlings and the things that I've asked you to do for the woodland. I've been receiving some wonderful work and I've started planting it into the woodland and it's looking gorgeous. Um, but I was thinking that if our seedlings were real and we uh, were planting them in a real woodland and not a virtual one, then we would have to water them regularly. Um, because when the seedlings are at that sort of baby stage, a baby plant, then they need that extra looking after. Um, and you know we would be watering them regularly so that the uh, soil around them doesn't dry out. Um, so I thought we would design some watering cans for this week's project. Um, but before we do that, uh, let's take a look at at an artist to inspire our watering cans. And I thought we would look at an artist called Vasily Kandinsky. Um, he, uh, let me say that word again, Kandinsky. Uh, he was an artist, a Russian artist, that was born in 1844, so for a very long while ago. Um, and uh, uh, I thought we would call this project Watering Kandinsky. Kandinsky then, here he is uh, looking absolutely splendid in front of one of his paintings and although this photograph is in black and white um, that painting was very very colourful because he was very interested in colour. So Kandinsky was one of the first artists or among the first artists that started to use something called abstract An abstract art is art that um, it doesn't, it, it's not meant to be anything, it doesn't represent things in our real life, um, so it's not supposed to be real, but instead it uses shapes and colours and sort of gestural marks, marks that make you feel something rather than make you recognise something, okay, and that's abstract art. And as you can see, Kandinsky used lots of circles and squares and triangles and lines and rectangles and funny shapes uh, in his artwork. And um, to him, they all uh, represented a feeling or music or uh, an idea, but not something real. Um, and as you can see, he loved colour um, and he loved black and white as well. And there's, there's usually black and white in his paintings too. Um, but they're always very lively. Oh, look, there's a rainbow in that one. That's, that's good, isn't it? Um, because that is kind of to do with our project, the, the um, lovely NHS hope sign. Um, but, uh, but yes, these paintings are very old and they are one of the first, or they are the first abstract, abstract uh, paintings um, in the history of art. Okay, so um, if you look at the, this one in particular, it's just full of uh, circles, uh, as he's saying, squares and stripes. Wiggly lines and straight lines, um, and circles in front and and circles behind. You know, he, he has really messed around with the with the shapes. So bear this in mind when we go to uh, make our designs for the watering cans, and we'll do a watering can dinsky. Okay, so we need to draw our watering cans and we need to put our paper in landscape, not portrait but landscape on its side so that we can put in a, a handle and a spout for our watering can. Okay. So draw an 
lips. That's a funny word. That means a squashed circle or a petal shape. And we want it in the middle towards the top of your paper. So I'm going to do that. A squashed circle. Look at that. A squashed circle. And then we are going to draw two lines from the edges of our ellipse. Um, and we're going to stop just before the bottom of the page. So we're going, we're going to go slightly out. Like this. Okay. Um, and then we need to draw the bottom of the can and we want it to be a curved line like the top um, and it's like a smile so I'm just going to draw a little smile mm, like that and that is a cylinder shape now we can draw the handle on the side I'm going to draw it from about here to about here, I think. And I, I think I'm just going to draw a line like that. And then I'm going to make an inner line so that we've got something to get hold of for our watering can. It's a nice handle. Now for the spout, you need to draw two long lines just a little way up from the bottom of the can. So I'm going to start here. Okay, so it's not on the bottom, it's about a little tiny way up. Uh, and we're going to just go like this. Go out, because it's a spout, so it needs to be away from the can. And then we're going to draw another one. So we're going to draw it from next to there, from about here. So I'm going to draw those two dots up like that. Now we need to draw a U shape at the top of the lines. A U shape. And that's going to go like that. And then we're going to do another ellipse for the sprinkler. And then draw some dots for the hole. So an ellipse, don't forget, is a squashed circle. So we could draw a smile there, but continue round. And that's a squashed circle. And then we can give it some sprinkler holes, couldn't we? Like that. Now we just need to do a handle for the top, which is a bit of a rainbow shape, really. And it goes from one side of the can to the other. So that's the back side. And this is the front side. So I'm going to draw a little dot there. And I'm going to draw a little dot there. And they're going to make a rainbow in between. So going up and down like that. Now I want to make that something to get hold of as well. So I'm going to just follow that line up to the top. And then put it through the handle and bring it down to the bottom. And there you have your watering can. Now then, this project is called Watering Can, and I'm spelling it with a K, Dinsky, after that artist that we talked about. Watering Kandinsky. And so I want to colour this in using all geometric shapes. Okay, I'm going to speed up the camera here um, and uh, so that it doesn't take too long while I'll uh, colour in my design on my watering can. Um, but I'm going to just start off with a red here, and I'm using felt tip pens. You can use paint. If you want to, you can use crayons, you can use felt tip pens like I am, it's entirely up to you. It's your watering can, 
So um, uh, use whatever you know you feel happy with. Um, but use bright colours, that's quite important to this uh, design and um, because we're, uh, we're making it like a Kandinsky painting it's important to use lots of beautiful colours, vivid colours um, and it's important to use shapes, uh, shapes within shapes colours next to colours, uh, you know all different colours, um, lines, wiggly lines, straight lines, rectangles, um, and colour it all in. Um, as you can see, I've done some shapes and some wiggly lines in red, and now I'm using blue, and I'm going to build up the picture uh, like this. I'm circling the red with blue. I've put a square around. Uh, my semicircle there, and now I'm filling in my handle beside all my wiggly, wiggly lines um, with my blue colour. Thinking about it, oh, I've decided to do a U shape now. Oh, and an upside down U shape. That's rather nice. Use orange and circle a little circle up there. I'm thinking about the paintings of Kandinsky. So I'm taking my time, even though the film is. Um, looking like I was rushing it, I was taking my time and thinking about what shape and what colour to use. Um, so have fun when you're doing it, relax and, and just enjoy using shape and colour to make a beautiful pattern, a beautiful abstract piece of art on your watering can. Filling in some background there with yellow. Actually, that brings it quite nicely to life, doesn't it? The yellow is quite nice and bright. And add a few sort of lines. Oh, more little dots. In the middle of my square. Fill in a little bit more of the background around the shapes. More spout, more uh, red stripes, I think. Oh, and this is a darker purple. And I decide to go around some of the shapes with a darker purple. You don't have to do this. I think it looked really nice without putting any dark lines around it, but uh, I wanted it to really stand out for this film. You can do it, you, you don't have to do it, it's up to you. And I'm putting in a few wiggly lines as well, a few straight lines. And then I'm going to uh, fill in the top, the inside of my can, if you can imagine this is the inside, so it's going to be quite dark, so I'm using that dark purple again. Um, and there we have it, my uh, watering Kandinsky. So, when you've finished your design for your watering Kandinsky, can you please photograph it in the usual way, straight over the top of it, so that you get it all in the frame, and send it to this email address, 
and I really look forward to seeing it. Thank you ever so much for joining me again. See you next time. Bye.